Hi, Andreas here from macos 10 screencastcom In this tutorial, I'd like to show you, well, it's another Scrivener tutorial, obviously. As I said previously in another screencast, this, this screencast series is about writing your own thesis or your own um, university documents with a Scrivener. And in this part of the tutorial series, I'd like to focus on how to customize the output which is coming out of Scrivener. This is done very, 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 very easily, and I would recommend you to set up your own preamble uh, once, and then you have absolutely no problems to work with Scrivener anymore. This is done very, very easily, and to set up your own preamble, you might, if you don't know LaTeX enough, you might want to go to your home forum, I would say, and ask the people there, they are usually very, very helpful with setting up those kind of things. And now let's move straight on to the screencast. I hope you enjoy it. The magic words to configure XSLT or to get a customized output out of Scrivener are called multi-markdown uh, settings. We were here already when we configured our tech file. Now we need to enter a new metadata here and to get a list of the possible metadatas, you just you simply go to the Multi Markdown Syntax Guide website, which I'm showing you right now. And here is the first section uh, called metadata. Now metadata is, is formatted like this. It's first the name of the metadata, then a semicolon, and then the attribute. The list of possible metadata is listed below, of course. There's an address, there's an author, affiliation, the base header level, which we were, which we already had a look at, um, our BibTeX file we were configuring, and there's a entry called LaTeX XSLT. Now I won't go into detail about XSLT, of course, but as far as I can tell you is Multi-Markdown comes pre-installed with a couple of XSLT files and you can call them from within Scrivener by entering the according XSLT file in Scrivener. Now I've copied this value to my clipboard and to see a list of your installed XSLT files, you simply go to your library, application support, Multi-Markdown, XSLT and there you see a list of all the pre-installed XSLT files. Now you can customize these, of course, but there's one called LaTeX Snippet XSLT. What this one does is basically it outputs a LaTeX file without the preamble and without the end document. So that's my way or the way I have found to be the, e the easiest for using um, multi-markdown together with uh, XSLT and now we need to enter this value in the file. You remember that I still have the attribute on my clipboard and the, on this, in the uh, text field you just enter the name of the according XSLT file, save your document and now everything is configured. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to clean our previous folder from all the files we have created so far. So now that we have a clean uh, file here, we can start by outputting our document from um, Scrivener. Now, nothing needs to be changed here. The only thing that's changing is you need to select here Multi-Markdown 2 LaTeX, of course, and all the other values here um, don't change at all. Just click on Export. Select the folder, here uh, enter a name for your file, hit uh, export again. And now a new file is written onto the hard disk, which uh, holds just the contents of the documents without preamble or anything else. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to create our preamble, of course. Now to do that, I've here my template, uh, which I of course share with you, and I just call this one main doc. When I open this file now, you see there's a lot more text in it, 
than in the previous one. Uh, this is my document, of course. You can set up your own if you want to. But the magical thing here is this line called backslash include. Now, when we enter here, the name of that file we are we want to include, of course. We and when I s set or typeset this file now, you see we have a customized output from Scrivener. Now, this is, tutorial is not much about Scrivener. It just shows off how easy you can work with Scrivener when you just know what you can do with multi-markdown. Here you see we have a customized star page. This, this side is supposed to list the contents. When I uh, typeset my document again, you now see that I have the contents listed. And in the, well, below the contents, of course, is uh, part one, which is what is glitch, and then lists uh, the contents of this document, which is a, an awesome idea. And just because we did the this kind of a setup in Scrivener makes us makes it now so much easier for us to work with this document. We don't need to fiddle around with setting up a uh, LaTeX or something like that. It's just setting up the preamble once, and now it's just easy as a snap, you would say. Uh, to work with this file, you just need to export uh, your proposal file, in my case, uh, from within Scrivener again and again, and just need to change this one file. And if you want to make changes to the preamble, you go here in the main doc. Oh, last thing, if you do this setup here, uh, you need to have a look at this line, because now you need, uh, apparently, to include your own bibliography file in this document. And the German people need to have a look at this line. If you're from Germany, you need to uh, include the line here, which says use package and German, which stands for a new German. Now, in most cases, you probably don't need parts or chapters in your LaTeX or in your uh, resulting document because you're not writing a book, it's just a small thesis. And therefore, you might want to use just paragraphs and sections or subsections. Um, to do this, you go in uh, Scrivener to the multi-markdown settings. Here is an entry called base header level. Just uh, set a higher number here. In my case, I set three. I hit save, compile my draft. And now I just need to replace that one file. Click on export, replace. And when I now go to our proposal tech file again, you see that part here has changed from part, from being a part to section. And all I need to do now is just go to our main document again. And I don't need to change anything here. Everything happened automatically for us. Again, this is very, very cool. And now when I go to our document, you see now we don't have part one anymore. It's just one. What is glitch? Just quickly reset re or retype set this document. And when we go to the talk, we see the table of contents have also changed. Now, this was very, very easy. As I said, it was not that much about uh, Scrivener. It was just about some set up part of your thesis uh, work. And once it's set up, it's very, very easy to work with Scrivener and your thesis. So this was it for the screencast. I hope you like how I have, or how I am using Scrivener, Multi-Markdown, LaTeX, PDF files here in general. If you have more improvements or if you have any improvements maybe for this kind of workflow, just leave me a comment. And I hope you enjoy the other screencast at macOS 10 screencast as well. Bye.